Hey, this is Flywire on the Road and uh, at Oshkosh 2022. I'm Scott Perdue, and what I like to do is wander to the buildings and look for new stuff. So I always stop by Best Tugs because I know Mark's always got something new and cool, uh, innovating every every year new stuff. So, Mark, tell us what's new. Well, uh, this year we kind of set the bar high. We've got quite a few new things, and, and we're pretty excited about it. So I appreciate you stopping by. You bet. Um, first off, one of the things we noticed is that there was a, a gap in our product line um, that really needed to be filled. Our Alpha Tugs are a really popular seller. They're a dragger style, which means they clamp and go. Um, uh, it goes up to a certain size and price point, and then you step all the way up into our Bravo Tugs, which is our loaded, where you're pulling the aircraft up onto the tug. It's easier to handle, easier to steer, better traction. Um, but that gap was pretty big, and so we figured how do we get the price point down but still get people into the Bravo. So we introduced a new Bravo 4, which is 4,000 pound capacity. It still has auto throttles, traction control, auto braking, auto chalk, a full differential for easy steering, and torque sensing so it doesn't overstress your nose gear and it has a, a smart ramp up, ramp down. So it has all the features that you'd expect in our premium Bravo lineup, but closer to the price point of our, our, our top end Alpha. So it just fit right in the middle. And it's, it's been awesome because the first day we had a lot of people that bought Alphas that after our unveiling on Tuesday came back in and upgraded to the new Bravo oh, before. So, awesome. so yeah. right off the bat, we, we saw that it there was a niche that needed to be filled. And so that's it, the Bravo 4. The next thing, last year we introduced our best power product line where we've got continuous power supplies to run avionics, flight school training, and, and update, you know, flight like uh, databases, cycle your gear, all that stuff. And we um, added some new innovations like Bluetooth, tech, Bluetooth technology so you could be in the plane with your cell phone, see how much power you're drawing. And this year we decided to add to that product line. We added a new battery-based GPU so you could roll that onto the ramp without an extension cord, start a plane, do big updates. And then as well as an added um, power supply, continuous power supply with more capacity, and we made a hybrid where an a AC to DC converter continuous power supply will snap into our battery bank power supply so that you can have the big deep cold cranking amps you get out of batteries but also be able to step up the voltage you need to connect to like a TBM wants to be exact a certain voltage right. 28 and 29 volts or Cirrus and so now you get the best of both worlds you get a clean power and deep cranking amps and those two units can separate and go their separate way or come back and marry together for those times that you need both a particular voltage and the deep amp. So we're really excited about our, our new best power hybrid uh, combo pack. So that's cool. that's a new one. Um, we added a few new accessories. We got a new trailer attachment for our Alpha Tug. It's a little cheaper. Um, it stays permanently attached to the tug so you don't take the trailer attachment off to move your airplane. We've got one that attaches on and it's retrofittable to all Alphas. So all our Alpha customers if you've got a small trailer you want to move around, we have a new trailer attachment that's more affordable and stays attached. So that's a new one. And then this is a, a big one for us. This is us uh, trying to continue in our effort working with the insurance companies to bring everybody's insurance rates down. I like that idea. Well, it, it's a big deal because everyone wants to talk about the crashes and obviously we want we got to keep people alive and we got to keep people safer. But 90% is what I'm being told 90% of the claims in this industry are ground handling claims. And the average claim when it's an aircraft incident, you know, aircraft tug incident, you know, it's a wingtip or one plane into another airplane, the average claim is $250,000. And, and you just go, how's that even possible? You get a Gulfstream backed into a Challenger and it's millions of dollars. And so um, the best way we can bring insurance down in the industry is better ground handling. Now with our tugs, our smart tug technology, we're, we're getting rid of these claims from nose gear shimmies and collapsing on planes because we're no longer using uh, essentially farm equipment right. or analog tugs to move airplanes. They overstress the gear and cause these, these collapses. So we've kind of mitigated that with our software, but now we're saying how do we handle the ground handling? And our studies and our research looking into where it's always happening, it's even with a, a wingman walking, but there's always the fight. The wingman said, I was telling you, well, you didn't tell me soon enough. And if you look at the delayed response from someone driving a tug and someone says, hey, they look, they understand there's a problem, they hit the stop button, too much time's gone by. At, at a walking pace, and this, this may be too much information for everybody, <laughs> but, but I, from an engineering standpoint, I want to know the numbers. Right. But even a normal walk is 4.4 feet per second. Well, the average delay time, if someone says, hey, 
You know, like if you're looking at a light and you say you have to hit that button, and as soon as the light comes on, you hit the button, it's up to a half second. And that's when you're ready to hit a you're button. You're ready, yeah, you're primed but, to do it. But if you're on a tug and someone says, hey, you look, and see, see a red flag and then hit, it's already too late because if even just a half second went by when you're ready, that's two and a half feet. And the incident's already done, it's already over. So we come up with a new acronym in aviation because we all love acronyms. If you're not so a brave, you're not. Yeah, that's right. So we have an ETSO, it's a new product. We weren't gonna unveil it this week, but our attorneys called the morning of our big unveilings of our new products and says, your patent stuff's gone enough that we're good, you can unveil it, you can talk about it. So 10 minutes before our unveiling of all the other products, we got word we can show the ETSO. It's the emergency tug shut off. Um, it's a remote shut off, so the wingman can be walking with an airplane and they can stop the tug, just like that. It's, it can be put on any of the best tugs that we've had in the past. You can send a plug and play kit, but now there's no delay. Yeah. So if the line guy's driving the tug and the two people are walking, he's like, hey, 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 whoa, 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 never mind. And you just lock that tug right up on the spot. It kills the power on the tug. It locks the brakes, so the, now that the power's gone, the tug's immediately stopped, it's locked, it can't continue coasting forward, it can't roll backwards down a hill, everything's safe, everything's stopped, and now the argument isn't the wingman going, I told you, and you, him saying, you, you should have told me sooner, all that's happening is the tug driver's going, why'd you shut me off? And it's like, because you didn't see the power cart that was going to hit the, the flap, and they're like, oh, thanks for killing it. So that's our EXO wingman, and then we have an EXO wingman XR, which is extended range. So this one, anywhere around the airplane, is going to kill the tug. It comes as a set of two, and then the XR is, is a longer range one you could have in the FBO. So if you're the type that sits in the office and watches the guys out on the line, and you see something you don't like, you can go, uh, you're done, guys. <laughs> you can, let's do some training. So uh, what tugs does the ETSO go on? So it goes on any of our Bravo series and all of our commercial tugs, and it's, it's twist to pop it up, and that's it. It's yeah. instantly done. Yeah, that's cool. So it's also... Uh, been, and you said it's retrofitable. To it's, it's retrofitable to any best tug. Wow. Yeah, so I think, uh, according to the insurance companies, they're telling me based on their studies and the stuff we've looked at, that uh, the more hands these get into, the more all of our insurance rates drop. It's 90% of claims in aviation. It's $250,000 per claim. That's amazing. And well, you know, in the uh, Bonanza world, the retail world, there aren't any more titanium skins. Nobody makes those anymore. Oh, they're done, and you've you're, you got a plane that... And you know what the number one thing that totals VTAILs? Tell me. Pushing it back into the T-hanger, and the t and the rotor vaders hit the uh, yeah. back wall. Yep. So if somebody was there to do that, that would save that. That's it. It's brilliant. We, we've all seen we've all seen men and women on the on the on at the boat ramp, and yeah. we've, we've seen people at the airport working together. But there's just it, it just takes that long, and it's too late. But if the person that's helping you, you don't have to know how to work this. You can hand this hand this to a child, and, or or anyone that's not doesn't even understand airplanes. Say, hold this. If something gets close, just hit the button. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's great. done with the training, and then. Turn it back on and you're up in business. Good to go. Well, this huh? is a remote power, remote tug. It's a giant tug. Tell me about this. This is really cool. Well, yeah, this is, uh, it's, it is a new product in that we've got a lot larger versions of our Romeo series. The Romeo is for remote control or R. Um, so it kind of follows with all our, all our tugs use the aviation alphabet, right? So, but the Romeos, we had a 5,000 pound and then an 8,000 pound, and then we went up to a 12,000. And then this is our large chassis Romeo. It's much heavier. What we saw as we were running the math on moving big airplanes with remote control tugs is it's one thing to move a heavy airplane and have the power and torque to do it, move it slow. It's a completely different thing to stop it right. and not have a tug get flipped up. And we've never damaged an aircraft and, and I hope we never do. But when someone starts saying, can I move this airplane, this airplane, we start running the numbers, we're like, no, the reality is a tug that's light and kind of portable on a big airplane like a Pilatus or, or even larger, a PC-24, a Phenom 300, if it tries to stop, it's more likely to get flipped out up into the gear doors and crush everything than really stop if you're not careful. So our auto throttles protect that, which is unique to a best tug, but it's still, you need weight. And so when most tugs that say they can move uh, 15 or 18,000 pounds are coming in about 200 pound tugs, we couldn't do it. This thing's over a thousand pounds and it needs to be. Right. Because yeah. you've got to get it going and you got to stop it. Plus we just 
didn't like the idea of moving big airplanes and making people do the shuffle walk because as they walk next to the airplane because they're so slow. So this is full three miles an hour. You're you're at a at a, what for some people is a normal walk. Some people would say a slow walk, but it's not it's not the remote control shuffle, right? So you can do a decent speed and still get it stopped. It has full lazy susan. It, um, and the lazy Susan, you don't have to climb down underneath ours and put a pin in it and pull the pin out to get it to work. You push a button on the remote and it unlocks the lazy Susan, go full 360, no wires are tethered on this one. And then to unload, some tugs advertise their hands reloading, hands reloading, but they don't tell anybody that you actually have to climb underneath and lift a lever while you operate the tug and right. shuffle sideways to get it to unload. Ours, you touch a button and it drives away. So. That's our new large frame Romeo series. It comes in a, the R12, which is 12,000 pounds, an R15 for 15, an R18, and now we have an R24 for 24,000 pound aircraft. And of course, this one is already set up with the receiver for those that want to add the ETSO emergency stop function for the wing walker. And are these emergency stop as well? These are emergency stop yeah. as well, yeah. yeah. Yep, so anyone near the tug can, can slap, kick, bump, shut it down. Um, we also have on our remote control a completely separate and dedicated circuit for an emergency stop on the remote, which I think is unique to yeah. us. And so when someone's driving, they can hit a button, and instead of trying to change what, the, what your remote's telling the tug, it just completely disconnects the power and locks the brakes. So our, all of our remote control tugs have an added emergency stop on the remote for the operator, emergency stops on the tug, and emergency stop availability now for ETSO. Luckily, we've never had a tug run away. We've never had one have to use it, but it's an important feature. Yeah, that's a fantastic feature. I used to fly a B-25, which is about 20,000 pounds. I mean, they'll weigh more, but generally the way yeah. civilians fly about 20,000 pounds. This would be perfect for that. Oh, it's, it's, yeah. it, and it's a beast. We, yeah. we really, really over-engineered this one. It's not just heavy. It's got, it's got massive motors, massive transmissions. The, the chains on it are about that big around because we just want people to have to deal with chains that are stretching over time and having to adjust it. We said just overdo everything. Like, yeah. So military grade in a pretty package. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, I knew there's always, every time I come by, there's always something new here. So exciting. Well, uh, thanks for, thanks for uh, uh, telling us what you got new and uh, yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. We you sure bet. appreciate you. I enjoyed it. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Flyway.